Hi, Zachary C. Ashby at Pacific Northwest Family Law. Want to answer the question, what should moms ask for in a divorce? Uh, oftentimes, um, so, so this is going to come down to two basic areas, finances and children. Some things to consider if, if you're a mom facing divorce, you have kids who are still in the home. Um, what, what has been, uh, finan finances first, what uh, are your job prospects? In Washington State, you're going to be expected. Um, there's no such thing as permanent, uh, usually no permanent spousal support. And, and um, in my experience, spousal maintenance is rarely something that people will agree to, except in very obvious circumstances. And it's going to be limited in the, in the amount you get uh, in, in the time frame. Uh, because uh, the attitude in Washington uh, in the law is that each person is uh, equally capable of earning a living and should do so. So consider what, um, so some things that are going to come into play. Um, what, what are going to be your, what, what are your needs for education and training to earn the enough income to be able to support yourself in the lifestyle that you want or that you've become accustomed to? Um, that can be a factor in something like spousal support or a division of assets. So there, there's two different things that, that we look for um, uh, that affect one another. Um, so if you're getting spousal support, you probably would expect fewer assets. If you're not getting it, you might need more assets to be able to um, support yourself while you're getting training or education to, to um, build your career on. Um, another thing, um, so moving to, to children, um, some things to consider and what, and what you're asking for is consider asking for um, a more generous parenting time for um, your soon-to-be ex. And, and the reason is you are going to need time also to be able to handle your stuff. Um, you're not going to have someone there to watch the kids in the evenings. You will become essentially, at least during your time, a single parent. And the way you offset that in a divorce is that the kids spend longer weekends with dad or you have some kind of, of alternate arrangement. Kids are going to benefit by spending time with dad. Um, I, I think studies have shown that. Just as much as they're going to benefit spending time with you. Uh, as long as both parents don't have substance abuse issues, mental health issues, and their schedules allow them to actually spend time with the kids. Of course, if, if your you know, soon-to-be ex um, has a job that calls them out of the state or country for long stretches of time, that might not, it's not going to be feasible. You'll have to find different arrangements. Um, and so, but asking for the right kind of parenting plan that will allow you to uh, economically support yourself and to support your kids emotionally is, is going to help out. Um, so uh, let, let me recap. Financially, what you're going to need to ask for is enough assets to allow you to do training or education or the kind of spousal support that's going to allow you to do that. With children, you, you need to ask for the parenting plan that's going to allow you to uh, parent, parent the kids, allow uh, the kids to be emotionally well adjusted to as, as they grow up. And um, so that's what you should ask for and look for really detailed. I, Wish I could be more detailed, and everyone's a little bit different. Be careful about concrete items. Um, oftentimes, people want the house, but if you don't have the income to be able to pay the mortgage, you do not want the house. It's not going to be good for you or anyone. Better to um, plan on, at the end of the divorce at least, selling the house and having that money in hand so you can. Maybe get a house that you can't afford or, or otherwise support yourself economically, uh, financially. Uh, be careful about assuming any kind of debts that um, maybe aren't yours. And when, when you're talking about dividing uh, property, uh, you also talk about dividing uh, debts. Um, be careful that your economic, your financial outlook what was going to come into your house is going to be sufficient to pay any debts that you assume um, coming in. Also, but also be careful that 
um, your spouse is going isn't taking on too many debts uh, himself because if your spouse has in their head that oh I'm going to take on all the debts give you the house and the car and I'll just file bankruptcy guess what your creditors don't care they're still going to come after the house because they if, especially if you have a, a mortgage they're still going to come after the house to get what's theirs he can't escape those debts without um, e either you've re you're able to refinance them or or um, you know so what I'm saying is you'll you'll be swallowed in into his bankruptcy and you'll end up having to file bankruptcy too and maybe end up losing some of those assets that you gave up that you thought you won in the divorce in order to satisfy the bankruptcy court so so you gotta be careful there uh, and make sure that any kind of division is actually going to make sense for both now it might make sense that you uh, file bankruptcy jointly um, at the beginning of your divorce to take care of debts um, so that you're left with assets to divide rather than um, risk um, losing things that you might be arguing over. Uh, so those are some things to ask for if you're a mom facing divorce. Um, if you have any questions, email us at info at PNW Family Law. Uh, like us on Facebook and YouTube and also um, you can call us at 509-866-4111. Thank you.